Let's ride. Well, hello there, and good morning. Welcome to the second video in the Colorado trip. So today, Alan, Dave, and myself, we're gonna be jumping in Dave's GLC 43 AMG, and we're gonna be heading to a place called Estes Park. Uh, along the way, we're going to take part in a car meet, and then we're gonna head on over to the Stanley Hotel. And if you're a big Stephen King fan, you're gonna love this because the Stanley Hotel is actually the inspiration for the Overlook Hotel in Stephen King's The Shining. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> <laughs> no, how do they, how do they like? Howdy. Howdy. I mean, let's start with that. Howdy. 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 We are in Denver with Dave. Denver hey. Dave. So just for everybody back home watching this, uh, Dave is the silent third partner of uh, Lead Follow and does all the music because he's an exquisite musician. Don't you know? Beethoven of Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, so that, we just went over a creek. The creek runs by my house and everything. Um, and there's beavers in it. Yeah. Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's clouds though. Ominous. Yeah. <laughs> so what mountain it's range? It's going to start raining in uh, 8pm by the way. Okay. So we got That's a cool day. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, did you see the size of that skate park? Yeah man, it was people, crazy. People, people, people like wonder Disneyland why... Disneyland for skaters. People wonder why people like Matt Hoffman and all that come from the US. Like yeah. The top, yeah, totally. Top skaters and riders. They got the facilities. Yeah. Is that a Pontiac? The aero that's done is um, lightning. No, it's a Camaro. A Camaro, is it? It's not quite a nerve ring. Lovely bit of road. Yeah, there's a, a lot of these that we'll get to see. but it didn't take long for everybody else to turn up. And as you can see, we've got a fantastic variety of different machinery here. Ooh, McLaren, love those, especially in that color. Mm. Think I can blag a passenger ride in that? Well, that wasn't too hard. Sounds awesome. Oh yes, smug level 100. Thank you. 
the mountains now, so we take this as a good opportunity to pull over and let everybody else catch up. This is so cool. Now the only drawback of canyon roads like those are that occasionally you're going to have some fallen rocks which oh. you have to avoid. Is that plastic? Is that yeah. Oh. That's, at least, at least yeah, it's not. It was, like it was horrifying inside yeah. the car. It sounded like gunshot. Spending only a few minutes passenger in the McLaren, I'm totally smitten. I think I finally found the car to replace my GT86 with. We push on further down the canyon roads towards Estes. Well, no, we were stuck behind an SUV for ages. Oh, we I see. Yeah, um, but this was, this was sticking with the M3 and the GT4. Yeah, well. easily, considering this is an SUV. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, weight is designed for any of this, really. This is done really well. Yeah. And you can take your dog in the boot. You know, yeah. <laughs> So, everybody accounted for, we've all just arrived at the town of Estes, in the middle of Estes Park. Or yeah, I was going to say, uh, yeah. It's all PPF'd up here, so I can eat the crap out of it. Oh, that's cool. And as far as days go, this is shaping up to be a pretty good day. I mean, how often do you get to meet a group of really nice people who have fantastic taste in cars and drive some amazing roads to a place that's so beautiful? Well, that's America in a nutshell, I guess. Time to go find some coffee and have a wander around the town. So we're crossing the road, we're gonna to go to a place called the Mile High Coffee House. Fantastic coffee, fantastic danishes and things. But right at the back, you've got the big Thompson River. I've never been to a, a coffee place that's right on a big river like this, but the big Thompson comes into Estes Park, goes through Lake Estes, and then right back out the other side again. It feels pretty busy downtown, but Estes Park has only actually got a population of around 6,000 people, but it's quite packed into a quite dense area. This. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's this place called again? Stanley Hotel. Okay, and it's you were saying this is where Stephen King wrote the song and based it on this. I see. Ten bucks to park. Yeah, yeah so park, so. parking ten bucks on the right. It's cool. I got cash. So here we are. This is the place that inspired. Stephen King when he was writing The Shining. They didn't actually film any of the movie here. However, they did record some of the movie Dumb and Dumber here. Speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that is going straight in the YouTube video now. Just silence and then. No way am I forgetting that. <laughs> So for all you Shining fans out there, here's the famous dollhouse from the Shining TV series. I haven't actually seen it myself, but big deal I guess if you're a big fan of that show. If you like your history, there's plenty to see here, including the famous axe from the movie.
as I mentioned, they filmed a few movies here, and lots of celebrities have been to visit, like Bob Dylan, and what appears to be a very, very young Pete Gabriel. Aha, and now the best bit. We're in the Stanley Hotel's own on-site bourbon store. Of course, America being the home of bourbon, all of these brands are American-owned brands. Loads that I've never heard of before, but there's no way we can leave this shop without buying something. And the last stop on our tour is the famous whiskey bar. This place is super authentic and it feels like I've taken a step back in time. It's brilliant. So with bottles of bourbon in hand, we're slowly making our way out of the hotel, we're taking a few selfies on the way out. It's been a cracking day. I'm not really a Stephen King fan myself, but I can appreciate this place and uh, how it influenced him while he was writing The Shining. And yeah, that aside, it's a great place to come and visit as a tourist, grab a bottle of bourbon and go for a wander around the grounds. And that brings us to the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed Colorado Trip Part 2. Part 3 will be dropping tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing so that you can see more of this type of content in the future. But thanks again for watching, bye for now.